welcome to the video. What do I got here? This is uh, a regular guitar. That's what I've been calling it. It's your uh, off the off the rack Gibson, right? Uh, if you've uh, subscribed to my channel or you watch some of my videos, you would know that uh, I don't build regular guitars. They're, they're kind of wacky, kind of these uh, interesting creations. Even when I have uh, my friend's guitars in, uh, you know, Scott from Fugly Guitars, you know, his are all these weird relic things. So it's unusual to see something that's, you know, straight off of the, right off the rack. But not for long. <laughs> We're going to do something to it. You know what's going to happen if it comes into the shop. We're going to do something to it. Client came to me. He is a big Ace Freely fan, and uh, he wants a third pickup routed in here. So we're going to do that for him. We're going to put some tuners in. Uh, this, the, the you know, to make it a, a an Ace guitar, right? Because he had those. Uh, we're going to make a template. I'll show you how I'm going to make a template. I got a really neat idea. And you know, uh, I've heard a lot of people say that they were disappointed with how the pickup sounded in the middle. So this is an opportunity to find out just what's going to happen here, how this sounds, because there's a reason why the pickups are where they are. Uh, because the strings have like a tonal sweet spot, and pretty much that's where these two spots are. And in the middle is kind of out of that range, so I can understand why people might be disappointed, but uh, we're going to find out. We're going to find out exactly. And you know, uh, aesthetically, I've always thought that Les Pauls do look better with that middle pickup. It kind of reminds me of like a 67 Corvette. Uh, that's my favorite car, that and the Batmobile. But when they first came out with those mid-year Corvettes, like the concept cars all had six taillights and it looked sexy as hell. And the production model came out with four taillights. It always seemed weird to me. So the same thing with the Les Paul. Three looks a lot nicer than just the two. And before you start saying, oh, you're going to devalue this guitar, it's going to be worthless, you know, it all depends on who you ask. Uh, my client's a big fan, a big Kiss fan, and for him, this is obviously a huge upgrade, and he's going to love the guitar even more. He probably bought the guitar just to do this. So, uh, you know, if it's your guitar, you can do whatever you want with it. That's my philosophy. This is a 2010 Les Paul. This is not a vintage guitar. If you want to do this, you buy a 2010 and that's what you do. This is where all the fun begins. Planning, planning, planning. This is the most important thing you can do in this whole project because you don't want to, you know, uh, put this a little off center. It has to be dead center or it's just uh, not going to look right. But I uh, made up my, my template and uh, traced it basically right off of the guitar body and then worked out all my measurements so that I could transfer those over to the uh, actual template. I have templates made up already for humbucker routes, but I wanted to make this match identically to what is already here. Even though it's going to be quite noticeable that it was added in after, it's not going to be a factory uh, thing at all, but just, it's a Les Paul. Uh, let's keep the aesthetics nice, you know, I mean, Technically, I could hack this out with a drill press, but you know, let's keep it classy. I think I came up with a, a brilliant idea here. And that is, uh, because this is an arch top, uh, it's really difficult to just clamp this down in place and go ahead and route because, you know, you got this rocking thing going on and you need a nice flat surface. So I decided to actually use the mounting bushings for the bridge. And I found some screws that are the right thread. Uh, that'll hold this down in place. And this little cutout here with the neck will also pr protect the neck and uh, keep everything in place so that I can route this out perfectly. So yeah, that's, I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm gonna call, this is called my uh, trout route <laughs> template. If you're a fan of KISS or Ace, you'll know why that's funny. The trout route. I'm the trout player. <laughs> Okay, today is all about uh, getting this thing all wired up. Yesterday was surgery day, and uh, I've got everything laid out here. Everything was supplied by the client, so 
I tested all the, the pickups to make sure what was going on there. DiMarzio Super Distortion. Uh, I tested the ohms and they all seem to be very similar. So I'm not sure if he's aware of that or if that's exactly what he wants. You know, it, it's personal taste sometimes. Neck should be almost like eight and I'm testing them all at about six and a half. Unfortunately, the pickup rings that he's uh, supplied were the wrong size. They were the larger size. And I let him know and then he dropped off. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have any. I don't have any arch top pickup rings. So unfortunately for the end of the video and stuff like that, uh, the middle pickup will have this temporary black one on. He'll have to uh, scrounge around and find the right ones. And then of course we're going to have to uh, butcher this a little bit. Take the axe out and chop that piece off in the middle. <laughs> and, uh, not really. I would do a better job than that. Okay, here we go. We got some uh, some strings on it. Sounds great. I tried it out. And there we go. The three amigos all in a row. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And again, don't mind the black pickup ring. That's just temporary. The uh, client's going to replace that as soon as he gets them in. He also wanted the, uh, the old Ace tuners. Look at that, eh? The ultimate Ace guitar. At this point, you can pause the video and screenshot it to grab an image of the diagram that I used for this guitar. Or go to my Facebook page. I'll have it there in my photos along with some other wiring diagrams. I'll put it up on my Instagram as well, both Johnny B Guitars. Since the Les Paul isn't designed for three pickups, some changes have to be made to the wiring. The three-way switch has to be replaced with a three pickup switch, and a piece of shielded wire needs to be added. I didn't come up with this diagram, it's been around for decades. It's simple but ingenious because it makes the Les Paul more versatile, and in my opinion, fixes a couple of minor problems. One being that people complain the middle pickup sounds weak and thin when selected on its own. Two, double humbucker guitars, no matter what kind they are, never sound right to me when both the bridge and the neck pickups are selected. This setup gives you the best of both worlds. Switching between treble and rhythm is exactly the same as it was before, but the middle position combines both the bridge and the middle pickups in a brilliant way that combines the aggressive tone of the bridge pickup with just the right amount of that round bass tone of the middle pickup. It's a perfect balance of the two, definitely not weak or thin. I wired the pickups all in phase, but the middle pickup can be wired out of phase for that unique out of phase sound. One thing about this guitar that I really should talk about is that all pickups are bridge pickups. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I tested them all at around six and a half ohms. I talked to the client and he confirmed they are all bridge pickups. He said that he really only plays the bridge position anyway. I think he might be surprised to find that this guitar sounds pretty sweet in all positions. The only thing that I was concerned about before wiring the guitar was how that bridge pickup would sound in the neck position. As it turns out, surprisingly well. Personally, my go-to setup is an HSS. I'm not usually a fan of the huge bassy tone of the neck humbuckers, although this guitar sounded great in the rhythm position. The big bassy round tone was there, as to be expected, but not too much. It also had lots of bite, being that it has the heart of a bridge pickup. I think it's more likely to work out if a bridge pickup is put in the neck position rather than a neck pickup in the bridge position. After all, there's a reason why they are designed for that specific area of the string. Up next, I take this guitar out for a test run with my rusty fingers. I go through all the settings so you can hear the differences. I don't play a KISS medley or a rendition of Detroit Rock City, but if you want to hear this guitar play some KISS songs, take a look at my description for a link to Johnny Hawk's YouTube channel. He plays a lot of KISS cover songs and has a lot of other cool KISS guitars like this one. In fact, I'm pretty sure he has an actual KISS guitar that was once owned by one of the members. You'll have to ask him about that yourself. Check out his videos and leave him a comment. That pretty much wraps up this video. Subscribe to this channel. Johnny B Guitars. Leave me a thumbs up and I always love hearing from people so leave me a comment. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all Johnny B Guitars. Thank you for watching the video. Stay safe and I'll talk at you next time.